G'day legends, Doug here, 14 years old, six weeks before pre-season, working with Tom on opening up my front foot on the leg side, trying to keep playing the ball to mid on. Also probably going to be working on some back foot work, trying to get my back foot on off stump. So check out this next session that I have with him now. Slow pace on what I'd usually face. Uh. Oh wait, that was good there. Transfer the weight forward well. Uh. Try playing around my pad. <laughs> Trying to keep my step short and on the leg roughly. I was really played. Oh, pushed out it with my hands, should have waited for it a little bit longer. Short step. Didn't go too far outside leg. That was better. Oh, that's, what is that? Ah. Probably went too hard at that one. Should have let it come to me. Pushing under too much in the hands, I reckon. Surely try and wave for a little bit more. Ah. Mm. Probably step too far outside leg. Try and, should probably try and keep my step more on leg, middle and leg instead of outside leg. Kept my step in. Step, step stayed probably on the leg. So. Ah. See, uh, stepped outside leg. So, still working on the same thing, trying to keep my step on the leg. On leg stomp. Oh, yeah, again, that was terrible, that long step outside leg. Hit it terribly, so it's trying to reset now. No one was better. Let's push into the gap for one. Could still be playing it better though. That one's better. It's short step, hit it better. Hit it cleaner. That was good there. Swing was good. Help weight was good. Played it well in the end. Can't hit. Pardon? Yep. Can't hit that one. A little bit uppish. Pushed out of sort of waiting out for it. Waited for that one really long. Played it under my eyes. Step was too big, but I was on leg, so played it well. Yeah, those last two were pretty good. Weight went straight down the wicket, so hit it quite well. Yeah, when I get my weight down the wicket and leg, short step and on leg, not outside leg, play it well. Yeah, so you just got to find what the trigger is. Yeah. You just got to find, is it your shoulder, is it your head, is it the foot, something that you've got to focus on. Yeah. And when you get that trigger right, everything else follows. Yeah, it's probably the foot. That'll probably help me the best. When you got it right, you smack them. Yeah. When it's not quite right, that's when you either go inside out or a bit of cross or whatever. Yeah. Good luck. Cheers. You want to go again with that or? Uh, yeah, one more round that and we'll get back foot going. All right, so me and Skulls, as you saw, did some front foot stuff. Uh, to keep my, f my front foot on leg stump when I'm facing balls just outside leg or middle, middle and leg. Ended up playing it right, but now Skulls is turning it to back foot so I can try and get my back foot nice pass off stump.
Quite all right. Good as well as you do a bit straighter. Got across, wait forward. Go back and across there. And then push my weight forward after I hit the ball. Could probably try and leave some of these. Leaving is part of all this. Leaving is part of the week. Um, yep. Yeah, she's probably trying to hit it more to mid off. Rather than point. Balls are coming straight in now, so I should probably try and play him straight. In the middle. Played it straight off. Keeping my front foot side on. Yeah. Sure, sure. As long as, as well as getting back and across my back foot, sure. So keep my front foot side on. If you're playing glide, make sure you hit it down. Also, I've been trying to work on after I play a shot instead of looking at my back. Another advantage of getting back and across is if you, you get really far across and the ball's in the middle, you can play to the leg side, manipulate the ball to where you want to go. So if you get really far across and you play it behind the square, if you don't get quite far enough, to play, just play in front of the square. Ah. I need to try and hit it a bit straight off. Kind of like splicing off my bat a little bit. Should have probably waited for that one a little bit longer. Played it a bit early. Ball's becoming faster, so it's last time for me to get it back on cross. Yeah. Always exaggerating the training. Uh, most of the balls uh, I faced, my back foot got across and covered your stump. Still, something to work on for the future. Overall, I think I played it alright. Probably should add in trying to play a pull shot more, but that that will come with time. Same things. Same things we've always spoken about. It's just getting further across. Yeah. You just get a bit lazy sometimes, and that's when you go there. You just got to keep getting in here. When you were, you were hitting balls off off stump through square leg where there's less field. It's yeah. When you're sort of there, you're more likely to sort of fend one the gully or to those wider slips. Yeah, just going to keep being positive and really getting across the holding side. Yeah. What do you want to do now? One more bucket of this, and On then, the yeah, and then dog chucker. Alright. Oh. Oh. That bounce. Could probably play that a little bit more towards square leg. Maybe picked up a one. Ah. In between. <laughs> ah. Mine was in two places there. Should I go forward? Should I go back? It's one of the most important decisions to make. You've got to make it fast to go forward or back. That's why, it's, that's why it's important to reset after every ball. Because you've just found a face and over of bounces. You're going to be expecting a bouncer and then you'll sling a New Yorker and you'll get it up bold. Oh, you've got to visualise what you want to do. If you visualise yourself getting out, then you're most likely going to get out. Visualise what you want yourself to do and you believe that's what you're going to do.
If you want to score hundreds, visualise yourself scoring hundreds every game. One day, it'll come. <laughs> Went back on a crossbow there. Good swing. Hit it well. Oh, it was good. <laughs> try bowling that one faster. Did you try bowling that one faster? Yeah. Nah, that's alright. You look like you put more effort into that. <laughs> Always good to take on bowlers. Don't bowl there either. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a good session that. Could have probably played a bit better on my back foot. Did play some good shots though. So also on my front foot, when I'm getting my foot in the right position, playing it better than when I'm not. So it's important to get your position of your foot, feet early and make the right decision. Like when I was on the jog chucker, I was indecisive sometimes. Really important to make that decision to go back forward or back early.